Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Have you guys been noticing a weird grinding or whining noise coming from your car's wheels when you're going about highway speeds or whenever you're going over uneven roads, like let's say you're turning and you go over like a bump, you hear like a clunking noise coming from your car's suspension or your wheel. It might be because your wheel bearing is failing and it's on its way out. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to replace your wheel bearing on your BMW E90, E92, or E93. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is pop off the wheel and then go ahead and slide our jack in to support the car so let's go ahead and make that happen just like that right there so now that our wheel is off we can go ahead and start with the maintenance portion so obviously I have wheel spacers so I'm gonna go ahead and slide these off and now from here the goal is really to get this rotor off so in order to do that we're gonna have to remove the brake caliper that we have here it's gonna be held on the back by two 18 millimeter bolts so let's go ahead and do that and the first 18 millimeter bolt is gonna be right here on top so we're gonna go ahead and just loosen that one up And the second one is to be located down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and remove that as well. Sweet, so now our bolts are out. So we're gonna put those off to the side. And now from here, caliper is not gonna be supported by anything. So we're gonna wiggle it off, get some zip ties, etc., and basically hang it right here from the uh, spring. And you're gonna have to fight with it a little bit, but go ahead and just start backing it off. And so now from here, I basically just pulled this all apart as one unit, because I could not get this thing to come off. Basically all you're gonna go ahead and do, is gonna be a locking nut that's holding the rotor in. You're gonna remove it with a six millimeter Allen punch it in and then once that's off you can remove the rotor so basically gonna pull off the caliper then the rotor like I said I could not get the caliper to come off so I just had to pull it all off as one unit put it off to the side if you are gonna be taking off the caliper separately make sure you hoist it up with some zip ties or something onto the coil that way you don't put tension on this line but the way I have it resting is it's not putting tension here so it's all good and now from here we're gonna have four bolts that are holding this thing in they're gonna be torqued on to a very tight value I think it's 110 foot pounds of torque uh, but yeah, we're gonna show you where those four bolts are. So you can see one right there, there's another one that makes two, three up there, and then four. And then one of those bolts is actually be covered really inconveniently by this part of the strut. So we're actually gonna need a strut spreader. We're gonna remove this bolt, to basically push this whole knuckle down. All right, and for that, we're gonna have to remove the bolts holding in our strut uh, knuckle right here. So it's gonna be an 18 millimeter socket on this side, and then an 18 millimeter wrench on the opposite side. So I can literally just come in here and loosen it. Cool, and then from here you can literally back off the nut, just like this. And then you should be able to just pull out the strut bolt, just like so. Bam, just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and move this bracket out of the way, because this bracket is completely interfering with our ability to reach one of the bolts. So go ahead and move that out the way. So now from here you'll see where the knuckle meets up, and this is where we need to spread, basically. So what I do is I grab a little step down socket, uh, just like this. Then I basically put it in here and use a ratchet to use this like a little spindle spreader and I just loosen just like that. I'm in a one-off situation. Uh, obviously I can't get this off, so I just put this up on top. And now you guys can see I have a little straight extension just plugged straight into there. And it's able to get on there pretty well and I'm just loosening off this bolt. And bam, it is off. And so basically to get this off, all I did was get a small extension just like this with 18 mil. I was able to just reach it straight back and get my socket on there and just hold it in place and remove it. No joke guys, you're definitely gonna need an impact wrench or at least a little bar to attach onto your socket to make it like a breaker bar because these things are held on there like no joke, extremely tight, like my wrist is hurting. But yeah, let's go ahead and remove the other three. All right, so for our next bolt, we got our 18 mil with a little 3 8 swivel and we're gonna fit this in there. And it should fit in just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and start removing. And this is the exact setup you're gonna need to remove. The lower bolt's gonna be located right here. Then I found the best way was to slip it on the bolt this way and continue to just torque up. Basically, you should have to keep messing with it. Slip this on, turn a couple times, and then rotate this back around this way and then slip it back on and then continue to keep doing that. Because I'll say right now, I had the most trouble with this one right here. But now we're on to the two easy ones. And now for this one, you can simply just get a straight uh, extension, like a shorter one just like this with the 18 mil and start untwisting it from here. I'm telling you right now, this takes forever and a lot of arm strength. Getting our third bolt out right now. So that's three out of the four. Now we have our last one. And now I saved our easiest for last, so it's gonna be right here. And now with this one, same thing. I just use the same straight piece that you can use here. So same straight extension our uh, step down and then our 18 mil. I need a little breaker bar on the end of this. Sweet guys, and once that last bolt's backed off, 
the wheel bearing should come straight off just like this and as you guys can see this thing is corroded as heck so you can see all the corrosion here on the inside and over time with age and just wear and tear uh, these things are going to basically corrode and dry out from the internals and it's just not going to spin like how it used to you can see on the inside seam right there there's a ton of corrosion but yeah guys that is the old one let's go ahead and pop in the new one now we have our new wheel bearing guys there's only one way this thing can go in uh, you can notice that on this side the bolts are going to line up to be smaller than this side so there's really only one way that you can pop this in it's going to be right here just like that and guys for this new wheel bearing uh, on the assembly you're literally just going to seat it and then go ahead and hand thread in one of the bolts you notice right off the bat as you're hand tightening them in they're going to go way smoother than when you're removing it it takes almost no effort uh, to get these bolts into the new assembly the old one was just so corroded you have to go basically like mock jesus strength uh, just to get this thing in and out yeah go ahead and just hand thread in the four bolts uh, that you removed it with and i'd highly recommend replacing these bolts since they are aluminum you don't want to reuse the aluminum bolts because they tend to conform to the actual threads uh, so if you reuse them they might not lock the same way as when you remove them and just make sure that you're going in like a star pattern so this thing can seat itself evenly so we're going to start off with this top left bolt then go bottom right and then you get the point top right and then bottom left just so it seats itself all evenly from there go ahead and put your rotor onto the actual hub itself and then get your little six millimeter allen and go ahead and install that and just go ahead and thread your rotor back onto the hub itself and then from there go ahead and give it a nice tighten while you hold this in place cool and then go ahead and hand thread on these caliper mounting bolts and go ahead and get your caliper seated into position and before you torque either the top or bottom go ahead and uh, just hand thread them both evenly to so go top and then bottom and then if you did have to loosen up the strut bolt right here go ahead and just re-tighten it and then from there guys our new wheel bearing hub assembly is installed so the reinstallation of everything is really just the reversal of how we took everything off we're really going to reseat the hub assembly bolt it in from there put your rotor then put your caliper and you should be good to go if you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and drop a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content to come. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.